Performing expressions and equations, the first thing to do is to identify what is the difference between an expression and an equation. Well, an expression is 3n plus 2. To convert this into an equation, we need to make it equal to something. So if I made it equal to 11, so the key difference between an expression and an equation is the equal sign. Now, when we're forming expressions, it's important to identify if we're given a variable in the question and what a and what letter that variable is going to be represented by. So if we look at an example, if we label my age as A, how old will I be in two years' time? So here we're told to label my age as A. Now we don't know whether I'm 27, 42, 53, 12. All we know is that it is A. So how old will I be in two years' time? Well, I will be A plus two years. In the second question it says, if we label my age as A, how old was I eight years ago? So I'm just changing the question here. How old was I eight years ago? So yet again, my current age, we don't know what it is, so we're labeling it as A. And eight years ago, well, eight years ago means subtract eight. So eight years ago, an expression for our age would be A, my current age, minus eight. If we if we label my age as A, how old will I be when I'm three times as old? So yeah, again, we don't know how old I am. All we're told is that we're labelling it as A. And three times as old. Well, three times as old means we're times in our current age by three. And this can be tidied up a little bit by instead of writing A times three, we write 3A. Because remember, we don't need to include the, uh, the multiplication sign. If we label my age as A, what is half my age? So yet again, we don't know what my current age is. But half of it, what does it mean to half my age? Well, it means to divide by 2. So we can either write that as this, or we could label it as A over 2. Let's try and make a slightly more difficult question. It says, I think of a number. I times it by 2, then add on 1. Write an expression for my number. Now this time we're not told a letter to use for my number. So we can pick whatever letter we want. As we're looking at number, I'm going to pick N. And this time we've got more than one thing that's happening to our value N. It says firstly it's times by 2. And if you remember up here, when we did times by 3, we wrote it as 3A. So if we're times it by 2, it's 2N. And then it says then add on 1. So it's 2N. And on 1. I think of a number. I divide it by 3. Then take away 2. So let's use a different letter this time for number. Let's use P. Divide my number by 3. So my P. I'm dividing by 3. Then it says. I take away 2. So I minus 2 from that. So that's all forming expressions we've looked at. Let's have a look at two examples of forming equations. So it says, I think of a number, I multiply it by 3, then add 2, and get the answer 14. What number did I start with? Now you could just do this by working backwards. So taking away 2 and dividing by 3. However, in an exam, it would probably be split into two parts. It would probably say, form an equation, and then use this to solve the equation to find the value of your number. Yet again, we're not told what to use for our number. So let's pick um, a T. And it says, firstly, that number is multiplied by 3. Then we add on 2. And this gives us the answer 14. Well, the answer 14 means that what we've got here, our expression, must be equal to 14. Now we can solve this equation by doing the inverse function. So remember what we're aiming for is to get t's on one side and numbers on the other. So we need to subtract 2 from both sides first. So we're going to have 3t equals 12. So that's 3 times the number equals 12, so we need to divide by 3. So t is going to be equal to 4. So we formed an equation and used that 
to solve to find out what our original number was. Let's look at one final example. I subtract 4 from my number, then multiply it by 3 and get the answer 6. What did I start with? So we was, first thing we're told, we're told we subtract 4 from our number. So our number, let's call it uh, D this time. And we subtract 4 from it. And then we multiply it by 3. So we multiply all of what we've got already by 3. And to do that, we need to put brackets around both sides. And that's equal, so that's our expression, we're going to make it equal to 6. Now, there's two ways to do it here. We could either divide both sides by 3, or we could expand the bracket. And if we've been looking at expanding brackets recently, let's expand the bracket. So 3 times d is 3d. 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. And that's equal to 6. So remember, like the example we did before, we want to aim to have the d's on one side and the numbers on the other. So we're going to add 12 to both sides. So we're going to have 3d equals 18. So 3 times the number equals 18. So the number is 6. And that's forming expressions and equations.